Good morning, everybody. It feels very weird to be, I'm like hanging out of a window. It feels very weird to be vlogging today because I haven't vlogged so far this year. I've attempted to many a time and then I've gone back and looked at the footage and hated it because I feel like I haven't done it in so long I've forgotten how to vlog. <laughs> I just said to everyone in the office, okay, I'm gonna go start my vlog now, guys. I've forgotten how to vlog. Like, no, you haven't. <laughs> I just get this thing and it might just be because I've been doing this for so long that whenever I do vlogmas and I'm doing it solidly for a whole month, I put down my camera over Christmas, it gets to January, I obviously start my year, I come back in the office, we have like a major, like what are we going to achieve this year, things we want to change, goals we want to set and I kind of put all the groundwork in here and for everything else I do and YouTube then just kind of sits and waits. And then the longer I do that, the harder it is to pick up my camera. So I do apologize that it's taken me a while to pick my camera back up, dust it off, dust myself off, and remember how this works. You would think having done this for a long time, it would come very naturally to me. But I can tell you, I'm not one of those vloggers that it comes very, very, very naturally to, unlike Alfie, who can like walk down the street on his own with his camera out, proud and loud, and here I am vlogging. I'm not one of those people. I'm still very like, me and my camera. <laughs> and I feel a bit like that at the moment, just because I haven't done it in so long, I feel like camera shy. I actually felt a little bit anxious at the thought of starting this vlog today. I was in the car on the way and I was like, I can't do it, I don't remember what to say. It's been too long, they'll have left me. They don't care about me anymore. <laughs> I have nothing interesting to give. You know, all those lovely self-deprecating thoughts that happen when you're a creative person. I got up this morning, I've got a very, very exciting day today. Me and Alfie have come into the office, he's had a few meetings. Um, like I said, I've obviously been coming into the office, I haven't been like off the face of the earth through January, but we've been coming into the office, getting a lot of stuff done, tying loose ends on things and starting new and exciting things also. Um, but yeah. That's kind of all I really need to fill you in on. Um, today I am actually working with a brand that I have loved for many years. If you have been watching this channel or my other channel or been following me anywhere on social media for the last 10 years, then you'll know how much I flipping love HomeSense. And the fact that I am working with them is like, that's a life goal ticked for me. I'm so, so excited. So me and Alfie are actually going to be heading out to home sets very shortly, but I will touch on that in a little bit. Like I need any excuse to go to home sets. You guys know it's pretty much my second home at this point. <laughs> so when I walked into the office this morning, look what I was greeted with. How cute is this? Basically, <laughs> it's like a Zoe shrine. <laughs> I was like, what are you, what is going on here? I was very confused. And then I realized that the team had done this 10 years. That is how long I've been doing this, guys. And then there's a little bit each year of all the highlights and things I've done. 2014 was a very big year. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, with something covered up. Oh, to be continued. How cool is that? What a lovely surprise. For any of you that don't know, I started my blog in February 2009, and oh, was it 2009 in Feb? Basically, I started my blog, and I also started my YouTube channel, which was called Zoella280390 at the time, and that was a whole 10 years ago, which, I mean, it doesn't feel that long ago, but when you look at it all laid out like this, a lot has happened in the last 10 years. 2014, oh, who remembers this? <laughs> With Holly and Phil, Loose Women, Teen Awards, Band-Aid, did the Vogue shoot, Company shoot, Zoella Beauty launched, Girl Online launched, Got Nala, Bake Off, Life Highlight, Wax Figure and Madame Two Swords, 2016, Aww, me and Tyler. 2013 was a fun one. 
interviewed One Direction. Zalfi were confirmed by Jim Chapman. <laughs> More so out of vlogging channel. This is so cute. Don't I have the cutest team? And then all these photos. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh my god, that is a terrible photo. Look how old this is. We've all been talking about like our favourite memories. Slightly self-conceited morning. <laughs> but I didn't do it myself. It was a nice surprise. <laughs> um, and then they also wrote in this card, which is so lovely. I won't read them out to you because they're nice little personal messages. Oh, just send me back. My question to you is, who has been here for the whole 10 years? Do you think there's anyone? I oh, know everyone's looking at me in the office now. Have you been here for the whole 10 years, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah, crazy. 10 years, a whole decade. I just said to these guys, I feel like I'm retiring. <laughs> I feel like this is my retirement party. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Can't wait for the next 10. Can't wait for the next 10. Oh my God, I wonder what will happen in the next 10 years. Because yeah. I couldn't have predicted anything on that well, board. Quite how much has happened in that decade. Yeah. We should write um, a time capsule. <laughs> yeah. I did with my friends the other day. We a wrote, time capsule. We wrote like five things we thought was going to happen in the next year. And then we just made a note on our phone. And then changed Did they happen? We well, don't know, we've just done it. Oh, we've just done it. Oh, you've just done it. Okay. <laughs> Have they it's happened yet? Yeah. like doing a vision board or like setting the Yeah. Board. Next 10 years. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> We just all had a team pizza lunch. Didn't we, Bear? Yes, we did. You didn't have any. Did you just smile? The guys got me some Crosstown donuts. I've never tried these before, but I've always wanted to because they look so delish. This one, I am very tempted by. That is a banana cream. This is my least favorite photo ever. <laughs> this one. Why? I don't know. I just, I hate my hair. It looks like a little dog chod on my head. You use wear your hair like that every time. I know. Every time? All the time. Oh. And I've got big bags under my eyes. It wasn't a good day. I think you look beautiful though. Oh, thank I'm there. you. I'm there. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> We are now heading off to HomeSense and we're going to go to the Chichester HomeSense which is the one that I always like to go to. I do love the one in Brighton but the Chichester one is just a little bit bigger um, so I don't mind doing like the extra bit of journey because it's worth it. It's the one that me and Mark always, always go to. Also, Alfie's coming with me, but he's left his phone in the office, so he's just run back up to get it. So I quickly thought I would talk a little bit more about HomeSense and um, the fact that I am working with them for this part of the video, which, as I said in the office, is so flipping exciting because I genuinely love HomeSense so, so much. There's a lady coming. <laughs> Here I am sat in my car in the car park talking about how much I love HomeSense. <laughs> so normal. If you are not familiar with HomeSense, HomeSense is the place where I tend to go home hauling a lot. If you are a lover of your home, then you will love HomeSense. HomeSense is basically a home lover's dream. I would go as far as to say a third of my entire house is from HomeSense. I love it. HomeSense is part of the TK Maxx family for any of you that don't know and they stock so many amazing unique brands that will be like up to 60% less than the recommended retail price which is why so many people love going there to get themselves like a really really good deal and one of the reasons why I love it so much and the reason that I'm always going especially seasonally because they have such great things in is because they actually get several deliveries per week and in those deliveries are thousands of items so they are constantly getting new stock which is why it's so exciting every time you go because you just don't know what amazing things you're going to come out with i think one of the reasons alfie's coming with me today is to kind of stop me from going too crazy <laughs> home sense have kindly given me a um gift card to spend 
uh, for the purpose of this video. So that is what we're going to be going to do. So one of the main reasons I want to go into HomeSense today is because for Valentine's Day this year, Alfie's not actually here. <laughs> he has got a job that he needs to do, so he's going to be somewhere else. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> So one of the things that I'm going into HomeSense to do is to get things for a Palantines. I know a lot of people call it Galantines, but obviously Mark is a guy, so he's not a gal. So I call it Palantines, um, is that I want to do a Palantines evening. And why is that? Let's get that car on. <laughs> I am cold. No, <laughs> don't be saying this. <laughs> Where's my boyfriend on Valentine's Day this year? <laughs> I'm off on a trip. <laughs> Alfie's away. So I thought it would be really nice to get some bits and pieces to do a Palantine's evening. Um, I'm only away for two days. Yeah, he's away for two days. It's not so bad. We can do it another day. No, you know, I've actually picked my flight so I land at 6pm. So we can have the evening. We're going to have the evening together. Okay, great. So me and Mark can do yeah. the Palantine's I could have got an <laughs> earlier flight. I could have flown at 2 o'clock or I could have flown at 9 o'clock. And nine would have got me in at like 1 a.m. So I chose the earlier flight. Oh, see, we will get a bit of Valentine's Day together. But I do believe that Valentine's isn't just about like couples. I think it's nice to celebrate like friendships and other types of relationships as well. So I thought it'd be really nice to get some gifts some like Palantine's gifts for Mark and I mean I can't really get you any gifts without it being really obvious. I could pick them. <laughs> also looks like I'm trying to avoid being in the video yeah, but it's because the camera's, really the camera's camera tilted angle. really weird but if I now if I'm in the video my head looks eight times bigger than yours because <laughs> it it's is. closer I mean it is but it's also closer to me. We're here ya! Alfie's just having a little snack <laughs> before we go in. We literally couldn't have parked any closer. <laughs> like, may as well have driven through the door. Part. It's like a drive through Just one. <laughs> I think we just need one. <laughs> this is so cool. Do you not think how deep that is? Yeah, it's great. I was toying with whether we I wanted one of these. <laughs> or I get or get a trolley. Imagine the supermarket, that's so much better. <laughs> There's a lot of greenery. I'm loving all of this. Look, they've got a like a fiddle leaf tree. Are you gonna get this? Is it real? No. It's a good one, isn't it? No, it's handy. Don't need to water it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not in here to get anything for Easter, but Home Sense do seasons very well. Like, look how amazing that is. My mum would love that. Look at that. I mean, we don't need two. I think we might, we should probably get a trolley. <laughs> Found the cards. I love the Home Sense cards. They're so cute. Look at that one. Perfect pair. <laughs> Guys, Alfie seems to have put something in the trolley. Well, <laughs> I turned I around and this is in there. That is really cool. Do you know I think for my office? Just putting like my camera equipment in there or something, or like wires. I just feel like that's such nice. It looks. It's like really my cool. Office, it right, looks very well. like industrial. And I like that it's got like edges on it do you mm -hmm. know what I mean yeah rather than just like they have really nice planners I love this section that's probably that quote notebook got the lamp section which is always Mark's favourite section he loves a good lamp I don't feel like getting him a lamp for like Palantines is probably where I'm going with this so <laughs> Super light, yeah. I've somehow found myself a little stool. <laughs> a big stool. I love this. I honestly think this is one of my favourite sections. The cushions. What have you just reminded me though? What? <laughs> that we have, we don't need any more cushions. This is literally you. This you is my favourite, honestly. If you could have a <laughs> vlog background for your channel, it would be this. Just all cushions. They just have so many nice ones. Look at these with this gorgeous like pom poms. Heading upstairs. We've also picked up this really pretty pink fluffy cushion. I've found this cute mug and Alfie had a really good idea that I can put pal, I can change the V into a P. And it's a cute little mug. 
and it says, I will love you till the oceans run dry, till the sea meets the sky, till the fish learn to fly through a giant meat pie. RRP £9, £3.99. What a bargain. A gin mug. That's a bit of mark. That's a bit of you as well, isn't it? Can't be buying your Valentine's gifts yet. There are so many mugs. It's like a wall of mugs. The mugs are something like genuinely don't think you can ever have enough. I mean, I've seen people that have a lot. <laughs> Tanya and Jim do have a lot of mugs. Actually. I think we have more than Tanya and Jim at this point. That's quite a hefty. Mug. That's cool, isn't it? So you've got another furniture section. Then you've got the kitchen and cookware. Pets, which is always our favourite. As you guys know already, I pretty much dress Nala in <laughs> a head to toe home sense. <laughs> year everything, on year. Her beds, her blankets, everything, yeah. Everything. Her dog bowls, they're from here. Yeah, they are. The ones in the office are, the ones at home aren't. Look at this planter. That is epic. That's so cool. Also, we were literally just saying how much do these chairs look like the ones in our dining room? Look, how good is that? See you later. Bye. Picking out some candles. There's so many. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> it looks like you're like hiding behind the wall. <laughs> So I've managed to find lots of sweets, like Valentine's themed sweets. There's literally so many, all different heart shaped things. I thought I could get some cushions to kind of make it look all nice. And then I found these, which Alfie wasn't as keen on, were you? <laughs> Just not my kind of thing. I love sweet peas, but any Everybody else that loves sweet peas knows that they die so quickly. Um, so I just thought these were so cute. So I got two of those and they just look very Valentine's-y to me. And then a couple of candles. May have also got a, <laughs> what would you call that? Like a little- It's kind of like a- Foot, coffee table foot it's rest. Like a coffee table, but you could sit on it. <laughs> Just brought everything in from the car. Nala's giving it the seal of approval. What do you think? I love that. This is such a good size. We d I don't know if I showed this in the vlog, probably just Alfie putting it in the car, but. And then I bought some I lovely pink go. cushions to go with my Valentine's theme and a fluffy one here. Look at that. Fluffy cushion. These two planters, this is my plant. I've just popped it in there. Bought this faux plant. And then also this little green velvet footstool, which is in a really cool hexagonal shape. Um, and then I'm gonna take, take this through here and go through these bits. I bought these, kind of unrelated to Valentine's Day or a gift, but I bought these um, really pretty painted goldy flecked Easter eggs decorations for my mum because she has all those like pretty twigs that she decorates so I know she'd really like those. Palantine's gifts for Poppy I bought this. I'm obsessed with this. It's like holographic. It says girl power and it's a 2019 planner. Look how gorgeous it is inside. It's like a really lovely lilac and baby pink. And I just thought that that would be a really nice gift. So I got her that. And then for Mark, I bought this one that just says, I am very busy in holographic. Then as I said, when we were in the shop, I love sweet peas. So I bought these and I like things like this, especially if I'm gonna like decorate a little Valentine's style table or Palantines. Um, they're just really cute. Love them. I'm gonna leave them like that. Two little candles, um, oh, how cute. They've got, um, what's it called when you put thing in, something into wood? Inscribed. <laughs> um, one for Poppy, one for Mark. And one smells like 
ocean and sea salt. And the other one smells like, oh, is that grapefruit? I think that, oh, I think that's a grapefruit smell. I love that. I just thought they would be a nice little gift. You can never go wrong with candles, which is why I also bought myself one. <laughs> what scent is this? Um, again, just a very fresh smell. This is Mediterranean scented. So I bought myself a candle too. And then, um, oh, and I also bought this for Mark because he loves a faux plant in his flat and I thought that one was very Mark Ferris. And then the last, oh, and then I did already show this, but a little Valentine's mug, which I'm gonna change to Palantine. So cute. And then I got each Mark and Poppy some sweets. So we've got Read My Lips and Valentine You Rock. How cute are they? I don't know what's going on with me here. Then just a ton like um, heart sweets. How cool is that? Pink jelly babies, which are strawberry smoothie flavor. I love me a jelly bean. Raspberry yogurt covered pretzels. They sound delicious. They just were pink and pretty, so I bought some of those. Um, then we've got, look, marshmallow hearts. Honestly, this is gonna look so cute. And then some like heart gummies. Any excuse to eat pink sweets. Pink sweets are always the best sweets anyway. Some raspberry and champagne truffles, which were in the sale for three pounds. <laughs> so exciting. Um, and I mostly bought those because Mark loves white chocolate and raspberry and champagne. So those are his perfect truffles. And yeah, those are all the little bits I picked up. I just love home scents anyway, but they always have the best gifts for people. There is always something you can find that would make the perfect gift, whether that's seasonal, like buying my mum these, or Valentine's themed, or Christmas, or Halloween, or just all year round. They always have the best things if you are ever stuck for a gift. It's just perfect. I genuinely do recommend everyone goes to HomeSense. I tell my friends, I tell my family. I actually get excited at certain times of the year to go to that shop and see what they have because it is like a little, like it's like walking into a treasure trove. You just don't know what you're gonna find and it's so exciting and I just flipping love it. So I would definitely urge you, if you've never been to HomeSense, I mean, I don't know how that would ever happen, but if you've never been, um, check on their website for your local HomeSense and I encourage you to go along and see what you can find because the quality is amazing, the pricing is amazing and the experience is really nice. I love that everything has its place and everyone's always so helpful and the store is always so tidy and it just, it looks, it always looks to me like, so when I worked in interior design, I always had to help dress the window. And I always think that HomeSense just looks like a perfectly put together like window display in each section. And I'm probably not <laughs> explaining that very well, but I just think every section they do just looks perfect. Whoever they have doing their like displays is amazing. <laughs> Definitely recommend and uh, I hope that Poppy and Mark like these little bits and pieces and that um, our Palentine's night will be a success. With all these sweets, I should imagine so. I'll probably get us like a bottle of fizz as well and find a good film and then we can, yeah, just have a chilled night. So thanks HomeSense. Thanks for being a part of my Palentine's evening. <laughs> Me and Alfie are gonna have dinner now and I've got the fire on and I'm gonna take my coat off. I don't think I've taken this off all day. It's quite thin. <laughs> it's probably more of a spring coat and it was quite chilly out today. So I do need to like wrap up, but I think it's about time I take the coat off. Nala's been playing with Buzzy all day, haven't you? <laughs> yes, you have. Hello. She's being really cute and really sleepy. Good morning, it's now Thursday and myself and Maddie are heading to pool this morning because we have a very exciting meeting with Lush. I don't know how much I can talk about it, so I'm gonna check with Maddie first. 
and that will reflect how the rest of this vlog goes. <laughs> we visited last July, I wanna say. God, that feels ages ago, but it also doesn't. Um, and got some like initial exciting things rolling. Um, and now we are going back today. It's about a two hour drive. Um, and we're driving there and then driving back again later tonight. So it's, it's a big old day of driving, but I don't mind because I do love myself a long drive. I might also see if Maddie wants to do a little Q&A in the car. So I'm gonna ask if any of you guys have any questions on Instagram. And then if Maddie's up for it, as we're driving there because me and Maddie always have some of our best chats on our long road trips and I just thought wouldn't it be nice to include you in that and also see if you have any questions for us so if she's up for that I'll also do that and now we need to hit the road you're staying here though okay she always follows me when she knows I'm going somewhere because she's like don't forget me but in this instance Nala I am purposely forgetting you oh Alfie's having like a a party in the kitchen this morning guys we're having some trouble with this tripod <laughs> it just will not stay on we don't know how long this is going to stay up for but it has been up for a good five minutes so we can start on some questions got lots of questions this one's quite nice because we've already talked about it a little bit because of your 10 year oh yeah what's your favorite memory together I wrote like an essay to Zoe. <laughs> oh yeah, in the card. Which had a few of them in. I can't remember which ones you wrote. I mean, I wrote about epic road trips. Oh yeah. Because we've done some like hefty road trips. Oh my trips. god, Leeds. Yeah, the like Leeds five, road trip. Five, six hours. I had to let you take over for one bit, oh, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> Yeah. Well, so it was like five hours in, I was like, Mads, I think you might have to do yeah. the end. <laughs> Berlin, that's what I thought. Oh I yeah, that was fun. a really great trip. There was that time we got attacked by swans. Yeah, got attacked by swans. Was that Arundel Castle? Yeah, yeah. I don't really know why we were there either. Alfie was there. Yeah, I think, we oh, that was another back. road trip. Yeah, we'd just come back from a meeting, I think. We were very like, we needed to stop and get some air. That, that was a long road trip. Yeah, yeah. And oh, do you remember we were about to run out of petrol? And we, and we had to pull over. Like <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm forever running out of petrol, I'm so bad. Oh, I am actually running a bit low. I'm gonna have to get some at some point. <laughs> Momentary interlude. <laughs> Where are you going? We are going, and I am allowed to talk yeah. about it because I asked Maddie. So we're going to Lush, and in July we went to meet them. Um, I'd never been to the actual main Lush factories before, but they're amazing. And um, we met Jack. What's Jack's like official title? Because I just Inventor. always Inventor. <laughs> he essentially invents the products. Yeah. Inventor. Chief inventor, and he is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Lush. Not their actual names. That's not their names. That's just. <laughs> so we're going there to create a bath bomb together for charity. That's what I'm allowed to say, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is very exciting. Yeah. And you guys know how much I love Lush. I've loved Lush since day. So yeah, I've loved Lush since day one and it's very exciting to be able to create something with Jack and the Lush team for a really great cause. So that's what we're doing. And you've come up with the concept, haven't yes. you? Yes. Road question. Which out of the Friends characters would you date? <gasps> oh! I know, normally it's who do you think you are, not who would you yeah. date. Chandler. Really? Yeah. Yeah? I think I would. I think he's like, I like quite like his sense of humour, mm -hmm. but he can also be sensible and like romantic. Yeah. He's like a solid like yeah. partner, no, I, I think. I agree. I think, yeah, yeah. I'd be between Ross and Chandler. Yeah. Ross in the later series I just found so funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> to be fair, he is quite, he's yeah. funny. Generally, I feel like one of the things I did want to do more this year was to kind of scale back a bit, didn't I? Mm. I didn't want to be working on so many projects. I wanted to 
not slow down but I wanted to be able to really focus on a few things there's also another thing that's coming out a bit mm -hmm. later on in the year which is very exciting um, yeah I just wanted to really focus on fewer things but put more of my like energy into them yeah and also everything we do takes so long so long <laughs> so there will be things we're working on that actually you won't hear about for a long time yeah there's a lot kind of simmering yeah my hair looks like reddish in this light oh it does and look i've got like doesn't it a very bright situation <laughs> oh maybe we should put this like a halo effect <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> maddie is an angel <laughs> um, oh that's better oh yeah her halo there is we gone. go <laughs> she's not an angel anymore she's chopped it off what do you feel is your best achievement so far that hasn't been to do with your career um that's quite interesting my biggest personal achievement is probably my like how far i've come with my anxiety for sure um because even before i did any of this it was so bad um and i feel like i've got it to a very good place where i understand it a lot more i understand like how to uh feel differently about situations and how to handle it and manage it basically what's yours i was just thinking that um it's hard to think yeah. of one that business hasn't affected yeah well i'm just trying to think personal only and i don't want this to sound really lame because yours is obviously so like such an amazing achievement um but i do think getting over my breakup oh yeah you like were a like, soldier i went through just to give you like a two second summary um a pretty horrendous breakup when I was 27 and I'd been with a guy for like near on 10 years yeah um so it and we had a house together blah 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 um so that I think was probably from a like personal growth point of view mm. I think that was one of my biggest personal achievements to have like having gotten over that and come out the other end and feel like so much more positive yeah and like that I'm a stronger person as a result I yeah think that's probably definitely yeah. I feel like bad relationships bad breakups always like shape you yeah yeah shake you then shape yeah. you yes <gasps> that was poetic <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they do. someone says like do you regret it do you wish like you could turn back time or whatever I know I always say no because I just think I wouldn't be oh my gosh oh my god <laughs> I bloody knew he was gonna that do that plan. I clocked it yeah oh my god <laughs> what's my train of thought it's always this road saying like even though it was awful and yeah of course like I think the one thing you do wish you could get back is time because yeah. I did what I feel you know I do feel like there was a lot of time wasted but what I wasted in time and lost in time I feel like I gained in like life experience life experience <laughs> I love that yeah exactly um which yeah is so important and it's so important to go through those things to know what you would and wouldn't want in the future oh for sure and if you don't go through the badge how are you going to know what's good what's good because at the time i didn't realize how bad it was and, and now that's the you scary can... thing i know yeah. especially for so long yeah for so long we were just also... thought it was normal yeah and we were also saying because we carried on our conversation when the camera yeah. cut out <laughs> we were also saying how the universe will only ever deal you something that you can handle handle yeah if that's kind of what you believe in yeah um I, I wholeheartedly believe that. Yeah. And you've like, got to go through things. Like, if you just don't, if any, like, because you can't go through life not having ups and downs. It's just impossible. No. Like, that it, is impossible. Like, everybody goes through ups and downs. But also, if you're never going through ups and downs and you're living on, on a very, like, mono, um, like, scale, how will you, you won't, also won't appreciate no, the amazing exactly. times. Exactly. That's what I mean. Like, and also, if, if you've always had, like, that or you've only ever had like good things when something inevitably bad happens 
oh my god that will like you come down it. on you like a yeah. ton of bricks yeah whereas i feel like i'm a much stronger person now me too um and yeah you definitely are as well yeah so there you go things got life deep. advice <laughs> do blondes or brunettes have more fun zoe <laughs> wow. since How's i've been going <laughs> i think they both i think both have equal fun yeah <laughs> i've been a brunette before as well um but i really just felt like i was wearing a wig the whole time <laughs> you know when something just doesn't feel right yeah oh my God, i know this what is you where mean. This, this is the g the, where we where got chased, got by, chased swans. by swans um yeah it just didn't it it just didn't look right i can't imagine Whereas, you as a brunette you're naturally brunette though so yeah, it's always going to suit you but yeah no it didn't it just didn't work top tip do not change your hair color after going through a breakup because oh, i think yeah. that's what i did i was like new me gonna change everything like carrie bradshaw does in sex in the city and everyone thinks well i personally think she just doesn't look like herself yeah i wonder it doesn't why look bad on her but it's not herself yeah and i think the worst thing you can do is just completely change who you are because that's yeah. oh yeah you still want to feel like you yeah exactly but you know it's fine to it's only hair it's yeah exactly try it and then yeah. change it back if you've exactly. got a good hairdresser <laughs> exactly maybe not do. if you don't <laughs> yeah. fave road trip snacks well well we have a <laughs> we've variety. got a selection we've got strawberries we've got mini eggs and i've also got crunchy are they called crunchy rocks like the little the crunchy mini crunchies yeah. oh 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 my god, there's some weird ones in here. Like, <laughs> oh. I, how big is your nan? What? Yeah, literally. Unless they mean nun, in which case that's <laughs> offensive. <laughs> how big is your vagina? How big is your nan from Henry Chaffee? Thanks, Henry Chaffee. Chaffee. <laughs> Chaffee. Um, approximately five foot six. <laughs> uh, if you mean nun, then none of your business. <laughs> none of your business. None of your business. <laughs> I've got that song. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Stuck in my head. Longer. Doesn't mean you're lonely when you're alone. That's one of those songs that so I true. think I know the words to, but I really don't. All I know is what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Try a little harder. Doesn't mean you're. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What are the words to that song? I think. Yeah. <laughs> Something something with someone new. How long have you known Maddie? I've known Maddie since 2012. Was that right? Or is it 2013? You know what? I think if we're being real specific now, I think it's January 13. But actually, no, because that's when I started a gleam and I actually sort of knew. We communicated. That. We communicated prior to that. Not in a weird way. <laughs> Her. In the work that I was doing before, I was working with bloggers and spoke to Zoe. Then some of these questions: Do you really need to know who is better at maths? <laughs> well, me and you, yeah. definitely you. Square root of twenty-four. Seven. <laughs> is, it, is it seven? <laughs> Wait. No. Square root of twenty-four. Six. <laughs> Twelve. Four. I think it's four. Okay. <laughs> Can I Google that? <laughs> Do you not know? No, I don't oh. know. What's In the square root of 24? Four. Yeah. Is it four? I don't know if it has a square root. It's saying 4.89. Oh. Maybe there is a square, square root, root of 26. Of 20. <laughs> it's, maybe it's not a square number. I'll be honest, I think I was... 16 the last time I did any square roots of anything. Oh no, you know what? It's not. It's not what? Four. So that was a trick question. Take it back. It's 4.8 <laughs> though, so I wasn't far away. <laughs> so there's a lot of people who ask the same, sort of the same thing, which is like, how do you kind of juggle being friends and working together? Oh yeah, I like that question. Because I do feel like it kind of crosses over a lot. Especially yeah. when I'm having a crisis. I go to Maddie as like Maddie, but also as like manager. Yeah, for sure. It's true. It's like, it's one of those things that I think you grow into. And I don't think there was ever a moment where it was like, 
now now we're friends now we're now we're talking work it's always both yeah like, i agree do you know what i mean unless it's a good balance unless it's literally like a saturday afternoon and we're going for brunch in which case in which case that's just friends it's just friends <laughs> but like the rest of the time it's it's always just both isn't it yeah but I, I would actually say like talking if anyone's interested in talent management like like a really really like important part of it is the relationship and the rapport you build with your clients 100 percent. because if you don't get on how can you really manage that person yeah. in the way they should be managed exactly and there are there are really hard times and you've got to like like i oh, it's gonna sound so stuffy now but i <laughs> care so much about zoe as a Aww. person that that's what you're always fighting for and that's what you're always trying to get the best for and if you didn't care then it wouldn't work you would be yeah, really bad at your, your job, job really and hard. yeah you'd find your yeah. job really really hard and it, it works both ways as well though um and yeah i'd say that is like the most important thing about this type of relationship is that you've got to have an amazing kind of friendship as well yeah and that's i, I would say that's the best the best way of working anyway 100 percent. and also there's so much trust and like yeah definitely. loyalty Yeah, you didn't have that like No. I've never met this person before and here we are. And I've never done app dating. Yeah, like yeah, I've yeah. never done the whole like, oh I'm meeting a guy off Tinder, like yeah, yeah. never done any of that. So I'm probably not the best person oh. to ask, to be honest. But I mean, even like when you're together though, it's still nice to have date nights and stuff. Oh, which yeah. you will have done. So have you done anything that like from a date night point of view that you thought, oh this would be a really nice just first date or any date? I think something where you can like get to know someone's like personality mm -hmm. and sense of humour. Like the cinema I don't think is a good idea for a first date. Oh no, that's terrible. Because you just yeah. sit next to each other eating yeah. food. I mean the only thing that will tell you is if he's a chammer or not. Yes. yes. <laughs> if, if you... <laughs> yeah. And in that case, you you can leave. Yeah. If, <laughs> yeah, if, <laughs> if you go to the cinema and you absolutely have to do drinks afterwards or dinner before or afterwards, yeah. it can't be the only thing you do. I feel like that's what you do it as like a team. Yeah, it just doesn't count. Like, I think like something like crazy gold. That's exactly what I was going to say. Crazy so gold, favorite. Some of my favourite dates are more like activity, but yeah. not like over the top activities. Joel and Sky I, dive. No. <laughs> Joel and I did Crazy Golf on one of our first dates Aww. and it's so fun and you can be playful yeah. and like there's so many in London actually it's probably everywhere where it's kind of more like a nightclub vibe yeah, anyway yeah and you have a drink and yeah it's like, it's like exactly a... so those are like perfect I think and then I always think like fun dates are um ones where you've like researched somewhere specific to go so like in I'm sure this is again the same wherever I've got obviously I live in London there's loads of like pop-up bars all the time and yeah. like lots of kind of like mini like little festivals and stuff like that something that you've put a little bit of thought into yeah I like that like Joel um on our first day had bought, bought us tickets to the London cocktail week which is basically like this um thing in Spitalfields Market where loads of different bars come and set up their little corners and it's very like it's very shortage yeah. um, but you go around with coupons and like get different drinks and they're all like really crazy drinks and that was really fun well like a Christmas market yeah that would be nice that was my idea yeah. dream date yeah. <laughs> dream date <laughs> dream date Alfie <laughs> we've been to many a Christmas market oh, this, is, this is a good one because we just talked about it what was the last thing? It's probably not the last thing because actually I feel like we were laughing just a minute ago, but one of the things that gave you cramps of laughter. It was 
when we got to Berlin, I had my backpack on and I was like pushing along my wheelie suitcase and I had my coat over my backpack so I looked like a tiny little hunchback. hunchback and I was wheeling along. Was it you or was it Alfie that said? Someone made reference to in Harry Potter in the it, it's in the show. Which isn't character it? would you be in Harry Potter? And someone said you'd be the little lady in the trolley. Yeah, Alfie like filmed me. He was like, "Oh my god, do you know who you look like?" I was like, "What?" He was like, "That anything from the trolley dears." <laughs> and I literally was like, "Oh my god, I do." You were. You were literally there. We. That was oh, funny. I was crying. So was I. It was so funny. We're yeah. gonna end our Q and yeah, A here. Let's end it. We've answered quite a few questions. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you when we get to Lush. We're here! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and even after Maddie talked about nearly running out of petrol, mm -hmm. the very same thing almost just happened. So bad. We were too busy chatting that I forgot that I had no petrol. Did, With four it. miles left, there was a service station. So thank goodness. Right, let's go inside and see what the day has in store. I try and flip back and forth from the total end colour because mm -hmm. you don't want a brown bar. Yeah. That's the, <laughs> I know sometimes experimenter be a little bit brainless. <laughs> Just saying, I'm aware. <laughs> but this looks so great. So I know, it looks great. <laughs> then we're going to go and put that with that. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Yeah, so well that's cool. the thing about the lusters that I really like is that the lusters versus just straight up colour give you. You've got to make a good brown a couple of times. Oh look at that brown. Oh. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, still kind of pretty. It's still kind of cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> guys. That's a good brown. brown. <laughs> oh, the brown? Yeah. <laughs> There's like a red centre to it. The layers come off, and then as they go, and you create like this kind of effect. Then the bath on its left is like a red. Mm, that would be cool. Sun, like sunset. Mm -hmm. I love that idea. Yeah. Um, no, it's literally no. I just thought I thought the well, that smells, smells so strong. strong. Is that that, isn't it? That's the pure essence. That <laughs> the essence. <laughs> Well, another smidgen, <laughs> or a different colour. Maybe a different colour. What about that orange, or is that too, or is that the same? I think they're the same. Oh. Orange. Right, here we go. Where are we at? So these are the essential oils, this side, yeah, and then this side, right. these are the synthetic. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not going to use any synthetics in this particular mix. Um, so some of those things we were talking about earlier, uh, you might be able to see. Do you remember any of them? Road not was um, one, wasn't it? This is alphabetical, by the way. Everybody organises their um, their perfume organs in their own way, but it, traditionally they would be high notes, middle notes, bass notes. But we don't do it like that. we do it alphabetically because it just works for us. Yeah. Um, also works for the person that has to put all the bottles all in. The <laughs> yeah. Lord, um, or, or expressed, or, um, or actually uh, taken out with a, a solvent. So sometimes they put something like rose, for example, in a big vessel, put a solvent in, retrieve all of the solvent out, and then are just left with a wax on the wow. uh, that, that would be rose absolute. Very unlikely to in make a, a, yeah. a, a brown smell. If you're <laughs> <laughs> <Because> well, brown. <laughs> yeah. it's the same brown thing. bad. It's the same thing as the yeah. colours, right? Yeah. You know, you obviously you don't want a brown smell. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> um, so if we just look through them, we go find them narrowly. Um, I think we use the Tunisian, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, spike, spike, plum, yeah, smoke, yeah, smells yeah. of um, oh, okay. just hot. Several hearty squirts. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah. 
And that's the oh, material wow. that, that that's so nice. is scientifically shown by working in Warwick University to calm the mind. Wow. I've so, actually got a perfume on with it in today. How funny. Let's see, what should we use? Let's use, let's have point. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> 0.25. Please. Okay. <laughs> One more drop. Okay. That'll do. Yay. Lovely. Thank okay, you very that much. was very close. That was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that smells lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, it's so relaxing, yeah, it's isn't fantastic. it? Yeah. Really relaxing. All right. <laughs> Should I pop these? I don't need oh, these lovely. anyway. Yeah, so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs>because my battery's dying but we were literally just saying how incredible that entire team are and both maddie and i are feeling very inspired and we smell great oh <laughs> it was so good i'm so excited so, i know yeah. obviously the bath bomb has a bit of a way to go that was just the first prototype yeah um but it's so fun getting to do that with jack and everyone else it's so they're much just fun. such a great great team aren't I they know. I could have stayed there all night. I, know, me too. I feel like we probably outstayed. Yeah. That one. <laughs> I think we did. He was like probably thinking, I've got to go pick up my kids, and we're like, let's just keep making my was measuring so slowly. I was like, I just don't want to go over. Aww. It's so precise. So I was just editing this vlog, and I realised it ended really abruptly because my battery died. <laughs> For some reason, that day. Everything was trying to make me not film. It was so weird. My memory card would fill up, my batteries were full, the thing wouldn't stick to the window. Very peculiar. Anyway, just wanted to end the video and say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was incredible spending the day down at Lush and creating a fragrance for the bath bomb with Mark himself, which was so cool. And then working on the creative with Jack, which was so much fun. We do need to work a little bit more on that. <laughs> and hopefully this will be 
um, a really great product to support a really amazing cause. So yeah, that was my week and I'm gonna go now, but thanks so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!